My name is Johanan Rivera. Uh, I, um, I was born and raised in Mexico, Mexico City, and I've been living in the U.S. for the past eight years. I came originally for grad school and then I stayed for work. I live in Washington, D.C. I have an identical twin brother in case you see him around. Um, and um, I don't know, I think, I guess I love gummy bears. They work in Limago is generally hectic, uh, but exciting and very, very rarely the same. Like it really depends on the type of work that we're doing at the time, the client um, organization that we are working with. It, it really, it really feels like uh, something new, which I think uh, it's one of the things that I enjoy the most about the work that we do. I think the Sewa Move project is, to me, the one that begs it, exemplifies the spirit of Mago because it's really about testing and learning different interventions which can help women like led social enterprises scale and become sustainable and replicate their models. So like I really it's at the core of what we do best, which is, you know, uh, helping uh, grassroots organizations really think about both financial viability but also like improvement of economic uh, outcomes and agency. Um, so I think it, it embodies beautifully our values and our spirit and uh, also the way we work, which is really co-creative. It's, it's, really, it's really like a, a partner um, that helps organizations, you know, reach their potential. And, and, and I think like our journey with Sewa has been beautiful in that way. I think innovative. Innovative is like one like the first thing that comes to mind. Passionate. Like I think one of the things that we all share uh, in Dimago is that we're really passionate about what we do. But um, the third one probably is, is going to be it's it's interesting. But I think humble. Like I mean, um, and and just because like I think our approach is you know like these organizations which have a lot of like rich local knowledge, they have the solutions, right? We we just like our facilitators. In, 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 in helping them articulate what they already know is going to work. Uh, and I think that uh, for the lack of a better word right now, humbleness, it, it really sort of like imbues the work that we do uh, every day. So I think innovative, passionate, humble. Super interesting. I, I think uh, 2020 was quite a year, but like it really, like one of the things that like stood for me out the most is like we're living through a moment of really reckoning and reflection in the global fight against um global fight for racial equality and i think like racial equality racial justice and racial healing are inextricably linked to poverty reduction economic security and agency so really i think to be effective we need to be proactive in counteracting centuries of discrimination segregation and financial exploitation so i if, if there's one thing that i think the international i mean and i think there are interesting changes happening especially from like from private foundations um, but I think we need much more conversation around racial equality and how, what, what is the link with, um, with poverty reduction in the international development space. <laughs> to, make, to make it out alive uh, from, from this pandemic, um, to be able to travel again, I honestly think 2020 has really put a lot of things in perspective. Um, and just the ability to uh, to show affection to, to the people that you love, to see the people that you love, to be able to travel the world. Um, so I, I think my bucket list has become a lot less ambitious and has 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 become a much much more simple. And like really enjoying enjoying those simple things that we took for granted for so long.